Good evening everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us as we always do on this channel and today we will mix uh, modern times, contemporary events with some history and we will make some conclusions. It's not for the first time in human history that the uh, figures, historical or contemporary ones, figures especially country leaders or influential community leaders uh, whom we don't understand or whom we fear, we always try to see as either insane or sick. The same applies to current leader of a Russian st state, which is neither a Tsarish, so let's say white, uh, and which is no longer communist, so let's say red. Nowadays, uh, modern Russia is, I would say, pink. It's a mixture of uh, two previous forms which this country uh, adopted in the past. So it's, it's a mixture of two its previous forms. And nowadays, the leader of Russia, Mr. V Mr. Vladimir, is now portrayed uh, by some Western media as a very sick person because no one would believe that he is insane because his politics for the last, uh, last over 20 years proved that definitely he is not a madman. So no one would buy such propaganda that this guy is a madman. So uh, because many people fear uh, Russia uh, or completely do not understand what they want to do. So uh, the only propaganda and normal human reaction that can be uh, observed in such situation is just to make our opponent either sick or insane. Insane, as I mentioned this time, doesn't come into play. So uh, in many media we hear that Mr. Volodymyr is sick. Uh, it's not a new practice. Let's go to the history. Like Emperor Caligula. Yeah, he is known because of his nickname originated from Caligae, which were military shoes of Roman surnames. And Caligula is the diminutive originated from the word Caligae, because when he was a small uh, child, uh, carried by his mother when she was accompanied her husband, who was a Roman commander, in the uh, campaign, so in Roman camp, uh, small Gaius, because his name was Gaius, and not so many people know known that his real name was Gaius, because he is so known after uh, from his nickname Caligula that many people tend to forget his real name. So small Ga Gaius, carried by mother and shown to soldiers, uh, he was dressed with a small. Um, small shoes, of course baby size, which were uh, uh, which were the same, which were having the same shape, the same style as the shoes of Roman soldiers. So small caligae in Latin diminutive is uh, are caligule, so singular form is caligula, so small shoe. So his nickname means nothing more, nothing less than small shoe. Uh, so Caligula means this. His mother was doing it also from propaganda reason to gain some sympathy of simple soldiers in the future for her son who was supposed to be and in fact became very influential person in the young Roman Empire. And uh, we know that due to some uh, political events, political machinations of his relatives, of other senators, uh, his siblings, I mean Gaius Caligula's siblings, was eliminated, died in a very horrible condition. His brother Drusus was even uh, kept in the prison and died because of starvation under Tiberius. He even ate his matras. It didn't help, he didn't satisfy his hunger and died because of st uh, starvation horrible, painful death, and uh, his other family members were also eliminated, 
by Tiberius and others senators were involved in these machinations. So when Caligula Gaius came to power, he of course took his vengeance on many senators. And when we really uh, analyze historical sources that survived uh, to our times about this period, it's mainly Suetonius Lives, who was not the best uh, I would say historian, but he was very good archivist, so he was collecting and writing about everything he could find. His maybe his interpretation of the sel and selection of uh, material he presented was not the best, but at least we have a lot of information and we can analyze it with sane mind. Unfortunately, the uh, counterparts uh, of uh, the writing of Suetonius in the famous histories of Tacitus were not preserved in our time, uh, were not preserved till our times. The reign of Caligula and the beginning of the reign of Claudius in the histories of Tacitus is lost. But despite this fact, uh, having this what we have, uh, the writing sources and also archaeological evidence for the Roman Empire for this period, we can uh, say that uh, reign of uh, Cal rule of Caligula. Reign of Caligula was painful for mainly uh, elite of Rome, spoiled families of senators who were involved in the uh, political machinations against his family because he took vengeance on them. But the rest of the imperial population enjoyed prosperity and stability of newly formed uh, monarchical Roman Empire. And this is, this is what we see. So how the opponents who feared Caligula portrayed him. I do not want to say that he was holy person, signed, saint person, wishing all the best to mankind and great uh, master of charity and so on. No. But how his opponent presented him. As a madman. As an unpredictable madman. As a deviated, completely... Uh, Mm, a completely evil man, uh, the the master of lasciviousness, and so on and so on. All human vices, according to these people, were accumulated into one person named Gaius and nicknamed Caligula. Which is actually not true. And one of the great books debunking all of these myths about Caligula is the biography of this Roman emperor written by French historian Roland Auger. I don't know if this book was translated into English, but uh, the works of Roland Auger, which were translated into English, among uh, one of them is the nice book about Roman uh, massive events and circuses, quite good analysis, but the biography of Caligula was translated from French into several other languages, if you read one of them, uh, just uh, Google for this book. It's worth reading because author, uh, in a very uh, very professional way, is debunking all myths about Caligula and really uh, showing, uh, revealing the mechanism how people who fear other leaders or their supervisors, how they make monsters or idiots or insane or sick people out of them. And the same applies today, sorry, to the modern, uh, to the leader of modern Russia in Western propaganda. I do not want to justify anybody or uh, support any of sides of the conflict, but I only want to uh, show uh, to you the mechanism of propaganda uh, from close up, just to help you in understanding the reality around us better. Th that is why old mechanism, old, uh, old uh, approaches to reality, uh, old psychology is still in play, it works the same, and we should only stick to the facts and analyze them on our own, and then we will know what's really going on. So, uh, just to sum up, if, we, if some people fear somebody, they always see the person whom they fear either as insane or sick, because then they can uh, mentally handle the reality better, because they, have, uh, they think they have 
explanation and justification of the reality that it's overwhelming for them and they cannot grasp it. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.